Whoa, this is weird, Jose. I can actually see your face. There's light outside. Hey, buddy. It's not nighttime. You're not exhausted not. from work. We don't have a whole day uh, underneath us already. We're just doing a podcast at 5 p.m. on a Monday. I love this. For those of you who are listening on the audio side, it doesn't matter. You're going to get the same mediocre product. But for those <laughs> of you that are watching live, all right, and so many of you are, you're like, wow, I can actually see the guys. This is great. How are you, man? How's your Labor Day going? You actually got Labor Day off. Good for you. Yeah, I, I decided to just take it off. I mean, what's the sense in like stocking up on, on uh, comp days when uh, the world is ending or whatever? So <laughs> this wasn't a sanctioned day. This was a day you had to take off? No. Uh, so it's it's a uh, it's a company holiday and you, you can opt to take a comp. You know this. You work there. You can yeah, opt but to I take a compensation day. Oh but yeah, producers yeah, they don't they don't care about you guys, unfortunately. No, no they don't. They and don't. It's like, hey uh, man, tough luck, buddy. But uh, yeah, I was just like, you know what? I'm good. I think most like we usually would take it off, but we would. It, it, this is where that whole joke started about if you have to take Labor Day off, then you shouldn't be in the business. Do you remember that bit we <laughs> no. used to do? I don't. So, <laughs> so with me, John, and Dell, we would always take Labor Day off. We were like, "Who cares? We'll take it off and we'll talk about college football on Tuesday." Right? You know? Like we'll be fine. It's okay. No one's gonna be like, "Hey, what are their opinions?" Oh no. Um, but I think it was yeah, it was the Blitz. Fred and AJ were talking about that. Like, if you have to take this day off, then you shouldn't be in this business. And we're like, "No, we're just gonna take it off. I don't care." So that we used to always make fun of that. And we'd be like, "If you have to take Boxing Day off." All right, and you don't belong in the business. We would always do that stupid bit, and I don't think they liked it because we made fun of them. But you know, it's all good. But yeah, uh, Labor Day, we always took it off, but producers never took it off. And the national side, I mean, it's impossible to take off because you you guys have like shows going twenty four seven. Yeah, it doesn't stop. Uh, but the show that I'm on uh, is off today, so uh, I just like you know what, I'm using the day. Nice. There you go. You deserve it, buddy. And it's been a productive day for you? Not at all, no. No? Oh, man. No, let's, not at all. I mean, sort of. Days. Sort compare of. days, go. Woke up uh, like at 1030. Uh, was groggy as hell because I couldn't sleep yesterday. Did a couple errands around the house. Made myself a breakfast sandwich. Went to the grocery store. Kind of unpacked everything and then kind of just got ready for the show. Okay. All right. So it's like you're working on on your day off. Pretty much, yeah, because you're making me work. You couldn't give me Labor Day off. <laughs> I wanted to. Uh, I was like, you know what? We should skip the podcast today. And then I, I was afraid you're gonna be like, why? What? Hey, what? Why are you like not doing the show today? That's if you don't cool. want to do, if you don't want to do a podcast on Labor Day, you don't belong in the podcast business. Yeah, you definitely don't. You're not gonna get to that Spotify level, that Joe Rogan experience level. Which, by the way, the episode with Miley Cyrus, really good episode. Miley Cyrus, highly intriguing. I didn't think can't, she'd be that interesting. Can't wait to not listen to it. Really? There's I'm nothing gonna, about Miley Cyrus that's interesting to you? I, I just don't care to ha listen to a conversation with Miley Cyrus that's probably like three hours long. Oh, it's yeah. This one was two hours. There's one he did. It was five hours long. That's that's insane. I can't do those episodes. That do takes stop, a whole week. Do they stop for restroom breaks? Yeah. No, they, they just like he'll just walk out. If he needs to go, he just walks out. His guest needs to go. He just walks out and they'll just continue the conversation with the producer. Interesting. Yeah, that'd be like right now. If you and I were doing this podcast, you just got up and left. I would just continue talking. I'm not going to stop the show. I'll let you go use the, uh, the restroom and we're good. Like we, right. that's it. But uh, yeah. That, so I've never had that come up. I did. This morning I woke up and I got up around nine o'clock and I was working out at 10 o'clock. 10 oh, a.m. I went and I went and worked out, got my, got my sweat in. Got my workout in and boom, I'm ready to go. Went with my neighbors and they, I told you, like my neighbors, we hang out with them every single night now. They've become and your besties. Yeah, they really have. I see them more than anybody. I see them more than my family. I see them more than you. I see them more than my coworkers who I don't have any right now. <laughs> <laughs> I see them more than, uh, more than Nuno. I've seen Nuno once in the last, um, yeah, it's in the last six months. Same, not, same amount as you. You're not hooping with Nuno? No, Nuno doesn't hoop. Nuno does not hoop. My man is strictly triathlete, so he'll just worry on that stuff. But, yeah, that was it. I mean, we were just 
We got our workout in. We hung out yesterday. We hung out Saturday night, Friday night, like you, every night. Are you close to knocking down the fence that divides y'all's yards yet? No. So we only have – so our back neighbor, um, we're, we're also really cool with them. So there's four families that we're really cool with because they all have kids that are the same age as my daughter. They're right. all five years old. We got one, two, three, four – and then, yeah, four of them. And then there's some other ones around that, like, have started to gravitate towards us because they only see us hanging out. So it's like, hey, we want to hang out with the <laughs> with the cool kids. So we've started ha uh, hanging out with them. But their kids are a little bit older, so they don't get, you know, like, an 8-year-old and a 5-year-old aren't going to play together without getting in fights. So we try to keep the 5-year-olds with the 5-year-olds. So there's no more, you know, there's no fighting and all that. But m one of them lives, uh, our neighbor's right behind us. So that fence, we could, it, that fence is how we met actually is because that fence flew off during one of the storms and that's how I met them. I hadn't met them before that. You should have just left the, fe the fence down. Right. We could build a pool. We have, we'll have room for a pool if we combine our backyard space. What's yeah. up the suburbs? Our suburb space is kind of small here. Roel is asking me, do I take pre-workout? No, I just take caffeine. I don't do, I used to do pre-workouts and all that stuff. The c4s and the uh dr jekyll miss high whatever those workouts like there's, there's some crazy workout stuff if i see one on clearance i'll buy it and i'll pick it up and i'll just drink it like it's my coffee but i just need caffeine i don't need all the extra stuff i just need caffeine to get me going so i just take little caffeine shots nothing those, too interesting that c4 stuff uh if i ever t when it, the days i used to take that when i would take it sporadically uh i couldn't sleep yeah, it even if you even up. if I worked out like I worked out hard, I sweated a lot. Didn't matter. It, I couldn't sleep that night. Has, has your body adjusted to it? Where anytime after two p.m., if you take caffeine, your night is ruined. No, and, but my, uh, but I but I don't typically take ca caffeine after two p.m. I did today, but uh, okay. you, typically I don't. When's your When's your last cup of coffee or caffeine intake? Uh. Nine in the morning, usually. Okay, same uh, about about the same as mine. Before my work one, like when I was getting up, it was like six fifteen, and I would maybe have a, like another coffee at ten a.m. just because it smelled really good in the kitchen office. Like whoever made, yeah, whatever that uh, pecan one was. Yeah. If somebody brewed that, I would drink some of that. But it tastes gross tough. though. Like they, it does smell good. Yeah, it, it smells good. It tastes gross because we always burn it. It's always like overdone. It doesn't smell good. But I just make my own cold brew. What's up, cold brew kit? I love it. And I save oh, myself so much money. Oh, you got a so cold brew kit? Yeah, it's it's like fifteen bucks. It's not that expensive. It's not that uh, exotic, by the way. It's just on Amazon. You just get it's a a, a jar that has oh, a I have seen mesh. Those. Yeah, it's like a mesh inner filter that just lays in there. You put your own coffee in, and let it brew for twenty four hours. Because I make it for the whole week. Get it nice and strong, and then I clean out the stuff, and I have cold brew for the whole week. I need to do that. Yeah, I had uh, I had a Coke Zero the other day after two or three p.m., and I was awake till like one a.m. I can't. That do broke it. you. The uh, a Coke Zero broke a you. A Coke Zero, the fake Jeez. caffeine broke me. Yeah, Jeez. that's what happened, man. If your body gets used to it, don't don't do it. And like now, I think back when I was in my twenties, I would take those pre workouts at like six p.m. And no wonder my <laughs> schedule was all jacked up and I didn't yeah. feel good. And you're always like, hey, I can't sleep at night. Maybe I need melatonin. Maybe I need a, I have so many thoughts in my head. No, or it's because you're taking, as Sammy pointed out, like 200 milligrams of caffeine at 6 p.m. Like, what do you think is going to happen? <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Celsius is a good drink. I, I've had that. I bought it on clearance once. It's all right. Like, they're all the same to me. No I think I've seen. Let me Let me look those up. They're all cousins of Red Bull, right? Like pretty much they're like, hey, Red Bull changed the market and everybody else just jumped in and said, we'll throw a little B12 in here, maybe a little ginseng, and here we go, pre-workout. It's all the same. At the end of the day, it's caffeine. Whether it's coming from an artificial source or green tea, it's all about the caffeine boost. That's all it is. Well, there goes our energy drink sponsor. Yeah. Whoever, yeah, I mean... <laughs> we'll we'll speak for Tweaker, I guess. Remember Tweaker? That's actually that's what I use. Tweaker. What the remember hell is that? that? No. You, you don't remember the Tweaker ads that were on the on SB Nation Radio? No, I, I think that predates me. Our boy Graham was uh, <laughs> our, our boy Graham was pushing this Tweaker stuff, and he was so excited. He's like, "Hey, the, the owner's Pakistani. He's gonna love you." 
What? And, uh, yeah. <laughs> He legit said that to you? He legit said, yeah. Come on, man. You know Graham. You know how Graham works. Come on, buddy. Uh, but yeah, that's what I use. I, I found them and I, you know, because he gave me a sample box. And it actually is, it's like the best because it doesn't have extra crap in it. It's just caffeine with some fake flavoring. That's all I need. Total Dallas says sleep plus water plus exercise equals healthy. All right. Huge flex, Mr. Balanced Life. Wow. Look at me. <laughs> Okay, nah, I'm with him. That's how I normally work out. Is is just I work out in the end, uh, like 4 p.m., 5 p.m. Your body's already warmed up, ready to go from the day. Then you go, you work out. Okay. Yeah, you don't need pre-workout okay. and all that. How's your workout goals going, by the way? They don't exist right now. See, <laughs> terrible. terrible. I, I have I have a job. For real, I don't have time to work out. Yeah, you do. You you can still work out with the I'm, job. I'm not waking up early to. Well, I, that's what I need to do. That's that's. That's what I, I, in theory, I, I've done, I've had times where I like set an alarm early, like at seven 30, mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, I'll wake up tomorrow and go run. And that alarm goes off and I just shut it off and I go back to sleep. Terrible. You got to get going. You got to start doing it. Just go right after you, uh, your work. Just go run the stairs if you need to in the building. Nah, I, I need to, I, I just want to get out of there as soon as I'm done. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, let's talk about a few things that we have on the rundown here. A lot to get into. Do you want to start with your list or my list today? Uh, no, let's start with your list. Okay. I mean, Shout it's out. it's a, it's called the Raheel Show, not the Jose Show. Yeah, it's the Raheel Show with Jose Partida on Monday <laughs> at 8 p.m., 5 p.m. today because we're just, we didn't want to do it tonight. I didn't want to do it tonight because I wanted to be outside. Um, Shout out to Lou Lemon, your boy right here, newest Lou Lemon ambassador for the Highland Village location. And I went and picked up a bunch of stuff. There's some things that I'm going to send you pictures of. Oh, boy. Before I post on social media because I don't want to get roasted. You want me, like, roasted why? Because They're too tight? No, no, no. Come on. You know I don't care about the tight stuff. That I love it super tight. Like, my pants have to be sticking to my legs. (laughs) That's how tight I like them. Okay. But the shirts are like, I got one shirt that is super Mr. Yogi meditation guy. And it is, Ooh, it I don't is know if that's so a good, good look for you. I think mm, it is a good look. I put it, yeah, my wife said she loved it. She loved that shirt. And it's burnt orange. Oh, okay. Not, okay, I'll send you, I'll send you and Josh a picture this week and tell me honest reaction like you are about to get lit up for this or okay, it's a pretty good shirt. It's a pretty cool shirt. Do you shirt. have a picture of it already? Are you wearing it? Um, I can find no, not of me wearing God, it. Yeah, no. I was gonna say send it to me now and I'll react. I can find you the shirt real quickly, and I can let me see if I can get it here. I can now do multi. Uh, I can, I can do uh, what do you call it? Multi browsing here. Oh, okay. Here you go. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna pull it up for you. Okay. Let me see. I'm gonna share my screen with you. My tab. All right. Here we go. Here you go. Can you see it? Not it's, yet. Here we go. Okay, here it comes. There's my shirt. It's like super artsy yogi guy. I mean, it's just, it's a regular T-shirt. I, I don't I don't know why you why you're scared to uh, scared to rock it. Okay, how Wait, about what, now? what material is it? It's lycra. You know, like it's like um yeah, it's like the lycra material. Is is it heavy? It sounds like it's heavy. It no, it's it feels heavy, but it's really light. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Okay, good, good, because I I was I mean, really conscious about that one. <laughs> that it kind of it, it, it looks a little pretentious. It does. Oh uh, for, well, that's me. Come on. But uh, it, it's fine. I mean, it's a it's a it's a, it's a t-shirt. You're good. Okay, good, because no, but there's also a zipper on the collar or on the shoulder. Is there? I didn't oh, see yeah. that. Oh yeah, there's a zipper there. There's a zipper on the bottom. Are you gonna unzip them? Half like halfway unzip them? Of course. Of course, I got to show a little skin now. Come on. It's going to look uh, terrible. Don't it's really cool, man. So, I, 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 yeah, I broke it last week, and I, t- I told you about it a while ago. We just couldn't do it, anything official with it, but it's really cool, man. They they provide, like, their ambassadorship is awesome. It's not just, hey, here's some clothes, guys, and wear them. We have, like, access to educational workouts, um, self-developmental uh, journey tips. Like, it's really cool. They want you to become a better person for your community. So, I'm excited, man. I can't wait to like take full advantage of this. And 
once we actually get back to the normal and we can have events, we'll have events and I'll, I'll announce it on the podcast and everyone's welcome to join us for whatever we do. So I, I can't wait, dude. I'm so happy. And, and my, my team over there at Highland Village, they've supported me since 2017, ever since I did that modern day man photo shoot for them. Ever since then, Kelly and Luch, they've been so cool. And they're like, hey, you need anything, you let us know. They provided clothes for my weekly sports map stuff. And That's they've right. been so nice about it. They've always supported me with any kind of events I need help with. So shout out to them, man. I'm really excited and I can't wait. Nabil has a really, he says, one of the signature Lululemon pants dropping. Shh. Don't tell everybody. But my signature Shh. pant is the ABC jogger. That's my number one pant. That's the one you had to pick up for me. You remember that? Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I sent Jose on an errand you one time. You sent me to do stupid little shit like that. That wasn't the only te- thing I ever did for you. When? When else did I? No. The, the, no. What, uh, el- the, what else the, have I done? Was- no, the Mike and Mike remote that we all went to House of Blues for. Mm-hmm. And it was next door, coincidentally, that we're having the Pro Basketball Hall of Fame uh, ceremony. And it was a year Allen Iverson got into the <laughs> Hall of Fame. <laughs> And you had your jersey, and you didn't want to go talk to Allen Iverson. No, I was on air. I was on so air. So you Negative. gave me that's I was crap. on air. You gave me your jersey, and you're like, Jose, go get it signed by Allen Iverson. And, and me, like an idiot, me, like an idiot, <laughs> ran over there thinking he'd sign it. And he, like, quickly got into his car, and he wasn't trying to sign anything. Although, remember when you came back? When you came back, and I was on air, to be fair. I was on air interviewing Daryl Morey at the time. I remember that because I that's wanted right. to. That's right. Yeah, I remember I was, about that. That's I was like legit heartbroken because I wanted I was hoping Iverson would come over because we were right there and I brought my jersey, my throwback uh, Sixers jersey, which is I've never worn it. It's and I got it at the NBA store in New York and it's probably 16 years old now. It's old, but I never wore it. I wanted like I wanted Iverson to sign it and he didn't come over and we were on air. So that's I was like, uh, hey, new guy, can you because you were an intern at that point? No, I had just I had just gotten hired. Okay, so you had was, just gotten hired. I was in a weird like transitional period where I was still still doing intern intern stuff, but I was also getting paid. <laughs> so that's why I asked you to do it. And then remember, after you came back, he was still in his car for like five minutes, and somebody yeah. knocked on his window and he signed something for. He signed some for, kids' basketball, I think. Yeah, and I said, Jose, why didn't you knock on the window? What's wrong <laughs> with you? Come on, man. Okay, so I've I've sent you on two errands. To be fair, the. The Lululemon one, I couldn't leave because I was flying out to L.A. that same day. And I, I don't know how you convinced me to do it. I don't even I don't remember you even at, how you even asked or how, how you even approached that conversation. <laughs> so, no, I straight up came to you and said, hey, I need a huge favor because I can't go to the store right now. Can you please get this? I need these like before I leave because we're leaving right after. Yeah. So that's why. Thank you, Jose. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Um, so yeah, that happened this week. Uh, we did that. So that was really cool. And you're going to see a lot more Lululemon pictures on my Instagram. So I apologize in advance to everybody, but shout out to them, man. Thank you so much. It's really cool. Love them. So yeah, that was the, that was the big news from the week. Uh, how about you? What, what's on your list? I don't have any Lululemon partnership to announce. I don't have any sort of jogger partnership to announce. So this is a perfect time to break one. For you. I mean, I mean, I I can't. I'm kind of hoping to uh, hitch on the on on the wagon with you on these, but these look a little too tight. Oh man, yeah, those look too. They're tight sold. They're sold out everywhere. Or the ABC not everywhere. joggers? Yeah, on their website. I'm looking at them right now. No, which ones are you looking at? The slim ones or the normal ones? The classic. Oh wow, they're sold out. There's a they're 28. The store. There's a 28 size 28 left, which That's I'm not nice. a 28. I'm not a 28. Wait, so they, these are like jeans? No, no, no. It depends which one you get. There's like they they make them in a jeans material now. They make it in their classic uh, stretch material, and they have one more. Uh, I think it's called Wick Stream. I think it's what it's called. I should know that, but the Warp Stream, Warp Stream material as well. So they have like different materials on their pants, but the ones that I have are just their classic ones, and they're not super slim, but they're not baggy either. They're just they're they're normal pants. They they're have not a sale, empty. actually. Yeah, on yeah the there's some right that, now. some check. Always look for the we made too much section. You'll always find awesome deals there. And their stuff lasts forever. I've been like literally, I wear their shorts 
to almost every workout and I wash them three times a week and they don't mess up. Like they're still good. So you're buying some quality, quality stuff there and use their resources. Like go to their YouTube page. They have a lot of cool resources for everybody. So check them out. They're awesome. They're awesome people. So I can't, I can't thank them enough. Um, we did watch the boys season two. Let's do something we did together. The boys season two out now. If you don't know what the boys is, it is our, it is one of our favorite shows from 2019 and it is so good because it is so graphic one. It's a show. If you've listened to this podcast for a while, but I know we have new listeners, so I want to reset it. It's a show that takes the concept of the superhero and basically says, Hey, what if superheroes were like actual humans that were humans? Like they had these urges, right? The, the urges to take advantage of their fame to be an a-hole, to not be the nicest person in the room and not have all those great qualities that make superheroes superheroes, right? They're better than us. They're, they're not human. Well, these superheroes are the worst of us. And yeah. it is fantastic. It and is they also work aggressive. for a, they work for a greedy corporation, yeah. which uh, is another interesting angle of it. And yeah, man, it's, it's such a good show. It's based Dude. on a graphic novel from the nineties that was so gory that DC comics canceled it. <laughs> and it was uh, picked up by another, uh, indie, pu- indie comic book, uh, publishing house. And, uh, and yeah, it became what it became. They finished it. And, uh, now there's a show for it and it's incredible. The first season was really damn good. It's only eight episodes. Uh, and season two is finally out a year later. And, uh, th- I mean, three episodes in so far, I know we're not going to really go into detail to give everyone time to catch up, but man, it's so good, dude. What is the, uh, you don't, so you didn't read the book, right? Like you didn't, you no, didn't read any of the graphic novels or anything like that. No, right? but I do know everything that happens in, in the, in the graphic novel. Okay. So I know how it ends and who dies and who doesn't die. Okay. So you, you do know that. Like, so I had nothing, let me tell oh, you about, no, just spoil kidding. it, spoil it for everyone. Homelander is by far the worst character until you watch season two and you're like okay, there might be someone else there might be somebody else we're just gonna leave it at that we don't want to spoil it but it is so good because it is graphic in nature in content it is gory because they did not skimp on the special effects budget at not all. at all i mean there's a scene in episode <laughs> three of season two that is so well done and so well executed that you're just going to be like, what just happened? And there's a lot of funny moments in it. There's a lot of real world moments in it as well. Um, there's power abuse. Highly recommended. Season two so far, huge thumbs up. Only three episodes. Remember, we so teased far. this. Yeah, they te- they released. They're going to release two every Friday from here on out. I think I, I, I thought it was one a week. Oh, so they're going to the I thought it was two. Dang it. Uh, yeah, I could double check that. Uh, oh, you might be right. You might be right. Maybe I'm just wanting more than what they're putting out. And, uh, the, the coolest thing, well, not the coolest thing. Uh, one of my favorite things is who they, who they added this season and, uh, Giancarlo Esposito yeah. as the, the new, uh, I don't even know what his title is, but he's, he runs Vought, the company that the, the seven, which is a group of superheroes they work for. And he is incredible. And, there's they kind of tease something going that's going down, uh, so obviously he's going to have a big role and he butts heads with Homelander already, so it's gonna be interesting where they take that character. Dude, it's I can't when I saw him and I didn't watch any of the trailers either. I I did the no trailer deal on the boys as well. So when I was watching the recap, uh, they didn't show it, and then sure enough, like it was I think the second scene that no the first scene he was introduced that uh that gus was introduced he'll always be gus to us of course from breaking bad but yeah and i was like oh my god yes we got uh jean carlo in here i love this this is gonna be good we're gonna have a good time here so it's a really good show it's uh you know don't watch it with your kids it's not a marvel superhero show so please don't think it is it's not the avengers it is the avengers for adults and it is outstanding Good start to season number two. Uh, people have that issue, right? Like, I don't want to watch season one if season two isn't good. But so far, season two is good. So it's worth 
the effort for season one alone. Don't even worry about season two. It's a really good season one. But you can also watch it knowing that season two gets off to a good start. I don't know how it's going to end, but if it's like anything like the episodes we've seen, it'll be fine. I know how it's going to end. Oh, Jose, mm. why are you even watching it? Just go back to mm. reading, you nerd. No, because, <laughs> no, because there's, already, there's already something drastic that they've done that didn't happen. Uh, okay. So I'm curious where they take that. I still think ultimately it ends how the books will end. Uh, it ends. It, it ends how the books the books ended. But there's one thing which I don't I don't want to say because I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't watched it because I want everyone to watch it and give it a chance. Uh, but there's one big thing, and I think I've told you what it is before. That's uh, don't tell me. I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, so don't tell me. Don't tell me. I don't remember. I'll, I'll tell you after the podcast. Don't no, worry, don't buddy. tell me. I don't want to know. I, if I if I've already forgotten it, that means I've taken it out of my mind because I don't want to know. It's okay, buddy. I'll tell you. Don't worry about it. No, don't, don't, don't. I, and no. I, I just, I just looked it up. It is uh, one episode a week. Okay. Till, how, till October 9th. Okay, so, so it's how many episodes this season? So three, so eight episodes. Yeah, just like season one. And this is—is is this the final season, or are they renew? No. no, right? They're gonna I don't keep think, this going. I don't think they've they've uh, announced the renew. Have they announced the renewal? Because it was so successful last year. Last year when they. When the show came out, they were already pretty much done wrapping season two, uh, oh, wow. and it was so successful that I th- I think they might have renewed it for a couple more seasons. But I just don't see with what I know about how the the series goes and the comics, them wrapping it up after okay after what five more episodes. That's okay. So that explains why all the characters look so similar to season one. Like there's no aging. Nobody looks that much different. They just kept they just kept shooting season two right after season one. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, because Homelander, Homelander's starting to look a little old now. My man's getting a little busted. Okay, but for the most part, they all look the same. Like Maeve looks exactly the same, which is rare when you reach like a second season because there's usually a year or a year and a half between. You see some like okay, that person's gotten a little bit older or. They've tried something new with their hair, or you just see that natural progression. Right? Like you just see people aging a little bit, but they all look the same. Right. Uh, according to Variety in Ju- July, they've already renewed it for season three. Nice. Good. Good. I'm all, all I'm all on board for that one. That's good. Homelander, I I told you, I thought it was Zach Morris when uh, the first season. I'm like, whoa, Zach Morris is in it, and it's not him. It looks so much like him, though. It's uh, I I wonder how many more seasons there's left. There's probably two more, I would guess. Hey man, if they're doing eight episodes. I'm for it. I'm for it. What? However many more they need, do it. Do it. Anything else on the sea? Uh, because we don't want to spoil it. We don't want to break it down too much for those of you that are listening and that uh, haven't been, up, you know, haven't caught up with everything yet. So we're gonna talk about the first three episodes next week on the podcast. So it gives you plenty of time. So any other and general thoughts on the season uh there i don't i don't know I, I i like it so far i don't want to pass judgment on it yet i don't enjoy it as much as i i it's not it's not as as i enjoyed season one more so uh if we're basing it on uh it's just not as funny i guess is what i'm trying to say because season one was hilarious there is a hysterical yeah. <laughs> moment in episode three but uh but also, uh, crap has hit the fan already for them, so there's not as much time for humor. Yeah. But uh, there were some hysterical moments in season one, and hopefully we get them in this season as well. Uh, there was a couple things that were a little predictable this season so far already, so I hope I hope uh, that doesn't remain. Okay. But uh, yeah, man, I, I really enjoy it. Uh, I just... There's so much I want to say, but I'm trying to avoid spoiling I know. it. So we'll get more into detail next next week uh, okay. after we see episode four. Are you cool with Travis Scott just doing a collaboration with everything under the sun? Like, is he going to do a collaboration with us or when's that going to happen? Because Travis Scott, tomorrow or, or whenever you listen to this on September 8th, there's a Travis Scott Cactus Jack collaboration with McDonald's. Yes, the fast food chain. McDonald's. It's it's so weird and like 
it's so it's it's so random. From what I've been reading, they're going to have uh, other collaborations like this. But the thing with this one, I was kind of like, really that like that's it. Like, it's a freaking quarter pounder with bacon. Like that's the best he yeah. could come up with. <laughs> like, even if that's your go-to order, I feel like you should have done something different. Like, where's like where's the what's the what's the incentive for ordering this? Yeah, does it come in a special wrapper? Does it come in something that we get to keep because that's so coveted? Trying to get Cactus Jack. Uh, uh, God, I, I hope not. I'm just, I'm gonna feel terrible for the McDonald's employees if it comes with like, like there was a picture of a hat. If it comes with that damn hat, yeah. people are going to be so insufferable. I'm I'm gonna feel bad for the. I for can't the, wait. I'm gonna buy one. McDonald's I'm gonna buy employees. one. What do you think? I should go buy one tomorrow at. 10 a.m. or as soon as they start making burgers and then put it up for sale on one of the Facebook shoe groups. <laughs> do, like, do it. It retails for $5.99. What if I mark it up to like $13.99 or 30 bucks even? If it comes with if it comes with a hat, you could probably get 45, 50 bucks. Oh yeah, yeah. If it comes with a hat, I'm 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 reselling the hat. No God. one's bought my mask, by the way. I you know the cactus jack mask. <laughs> I put it up. Facebook doesn't let you uh, sell masks. Really? In marketplace, if it if it looks like you're selling a mask, it's gonna hide it. Interesting. Why? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know because I guess they don't want they they don't want people using um, marketplace to make a profit, you know, off of me- medical supplies. Maybe that's why. Interesting. Yeah, but on next door, I posted in one lady fifty, and I'm like, mm, I'm gonna hold out. I'm gonna hold out here. Because I'm not gonna wear the Cactus Jack mask. Just let me have it. Oh, hey, thirty bucks. Mm. <laughs> That's Wait, how, how much it was. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It was it was twenty. It was twenty five, and then with shipping and everything, ended up being. Why are you charging bucks. me shipping? Because I paid for it, so you're gonna pay for it too. I'm passing this. I'm passing the savings off to you. <laughs> mm. Would you? Are you gonna wear it? Or are you gonna resell it? Why would I resell? I just feel like it's something so so stupid to resell. Like. I don't, it looks it's a good quality mask it's is really it? cool yeah it's really like the uh material is really nice the stitching is really nice it's a good quality mask you're trying to sell it to me aren't you yeah i am for 75 that's no. my asking price it just went up because of demand there's demand for this now that's why demand me the singular yeah. person curious Exa- about yes it? no yes, i'm not paying demand. no damn 70 dollars for it <laughs> your demand now see if you had said i don't want it I would have dropped it like, oh, do you want it for 30? But you saying, hey, I'll take it has now created demand. Then you could keep that damn mask. Okay. So when you come back for 55, maybe I'll do the deal. <laughs> no, I'm good. It's yeah. just like, I just don't understand why he didn't do anything strange. Like the strangest thing about this is they give you a barbecue dipping sauce. Like, because well, I, I guess he likes barbecue with his fries. I don't, I don't freaking know. But it's like I was a little disappointed there was no crea- creativity involved. Mm. Yeah, I thought they were going to do something else with it, um, like a clothing drop. And who knows, there might be a surprise I, drop. I, I bet would, there might be. Absolutely. If he if he doesn't, he drops merch for everything. He did the single for the Tenet uh, movie, and he released a shirt about <laughs> it. Like, there's no chance in hell tomorrow he doesn't drop McDonald's. Which you almost bought, by the way. <laughs> did you end up buying it? No, I didn't. I kind of wish I did, but I didn't. It because it was kind of plain. Like I was kind of like, oh. yeah. Even like I, I felt like I'm going. I'm probably going to love this movie, but it's a plain ass shirt. Like whatever. You haven't watched it yet, right? No, I, I haven't. Isn't it only in theaters? Mm-hmm. You're not did, going. Did you go watch it? Not yet. I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to go. Let me get the mask so I can go. Um. Yeah, I gave you a spicy boy mask. You can wear that. <laughs> I always get looks with uh, with the mask. With I the know, spicy me too. Boy mask. I know. Sometimes I flip it inside out. I'll be honest with you. I'm like, I don't want, <laughs> I don't want the look today, so I just flip it. I just flip it. They, so tenant, I might, I might go watch. I'm still trying to figure out like a time because I want to watch it on IMAX, but <sighs> my local IMAX offering is only at twelve, four, and eight. There's nothing earlier than twelve. So what's the problem? Was, you don't have a job. Yeah, but I have to still take care of baby Trickster at home. Then Jeez. go watch it at 8 p.m. I don't want... That's too many people. 8 p.m. is going to be too many people. Go watch it at 4 p.m. I think there's going to be too many people at 4 p.m. as well. 
Uh, that's my that's my thing. It feels like at eight a.m. I could have done it before school, then I would have watched it. Why don't you t- just take Baby Trickster, give her a mental health day, and y'all could go watch Tenet. We were gonna do that. That was that was discussed, Jose, and it was ultimately shot down <laughs> by my wife <laughs> because she has seen the trailers. I haven't seen a single like trailer. Right. And, like I think the most I've seen is a second before I can pause it and get leave the room. But according to my wife, she's like, I think she's still too young for this. Why don't you take her and like give her her uh, give her your phone or an iPad so she could watch like Peppa Pig or Pocoyo videos? So you phone? want me to you want me to pay the twelve dollars to take her in there and just post her up with a <laughs> Peppa Pig? She's that, watched Interstellar. If that's what it takes. She's done Interstellar, so she's done a Christopher Nolan movie. But I don't know if Tenet might be the right one to go there and watch it. Who knows? I think I might just have to sneak out at twelve and do it one you day. You took her to watch Spaceballs. No, Interstellar. Isn't that what I said? N- no, you said Spaceballs. Oh. Stop. It's not the same movie. <laughs> it's not the same movie. Uh, so, yeah, man I, I, by the way. And what? dies, probably. M- no, he, he doesn't die. Spo- stop spoiling it. He doesn't I've never die. seen it. I'm just guessing. You haven't seen Interstellar? Again, no. what's wrong with you? This is incredible. The I like that he's doing a deal with everyone. By the way, Travis Scott is. Oh yeah, by all by like, all means, go get the bag. Absolutely, go get it. But and I'm surprised McDonald's hasn't done this before. That's they should have been doing signature burgers a long time ago. Like they do it at every mom pop place when it comes to local stuff, right? Like you you can go get the Barry Laminac burger at Wings uh, at Big City Wings. You can get the the X at this place, right? Like featuring a local celebrity why haven't they done more of these like why didn't they do a michael jordan burger get the jordan i want the jordan number one combo or whatever it is then if they, they do, should have been it's, who else have they done the there's an article on bro bible that i added to our the rundown that says it's almost exactly as a mcjordan what the hell is a mcjordan when was there a McJordan? jordan was there really? a jordan partnership yeah, there was a Jordan partnership. Remember, they were playing horse. Uh, it was he and was it Barkley that he was playing horse with? I forgot that commercial. But yeah, they've done com- like he's been part of. Oh McDonald's. yeah, there there was a there was a McJordan. There was a McJordan. Okay, so it was why have they done more? It was literally these? it was it was Raheel. It was essentially the same thing. Okay, it actually is the same burger. Now that I'm looking at it, <laughs> it's the, the same, same burger. Is it the same preparation too? The the preparation sheet. Remember we saw like you got to put a dollop no. of ketchup. <laughs> no, but they should be doing this that. with everyone, right? Yeah. Shouldn't they be doing a you know a where, Kanye West Burger King burger? Where was the LeBron burger? Ooh, LeBron's gonna knock it off and do the Mick. Uh, he's gonna do the Mick LeBron, just yeah. like he did Space Jam. Oh, okay. It's Can't just gonna be like you. Space Jam, but not funny or good. You don't. You haven't seen the movie. How do you know that? What are you basing it off of? Come on now. You know it's not going to be as good as the original Space Jam. Maybe the first one isn't that great. Uh, No, it's really good. Mm. It's really good. I just rewatched it. It's really maybe good. LeBron's, maybe LeBron's is going to be funnier and edgier. No way. It's gonna, No, LeBron's is not going to be funnier and edgier. You don't know that. I think his is going to be, it's going to be more dark. It's going to be more real. Bill Murray dies in the, in, <laughs> in the LeBron one. It's a Space Jam origin story. <laughs> we figure out like how that. Uh, no, you know what would be hilarious? <laughs> if they made this the prequel to the Michael Jordan one. Oh, no. <laughs> we figure out how uh, Evil Mountain came to be and that guy who runs it, how yeah. that guy became who he is. Because LeBron a- postered him in a pickup game. Yeah. And then you know, like LeBron would have to die in it because he's not part. <laughs> he's, he's not, not part of the one. original one, so right. there's gonna be a death. Man, this is gonna get dark. So how do they explain LeBron not being in the NBA then? If it's not the, if it's not a prequel, because with the original, it was during his retirement, right? Yeah, I don't know. We're assuming LeBron think, is gonna be LeBron. What if think, LeBron is somebody else? Do you think LeBron has a publicity stunt NBA retirement for the movie? Oh, he should. He he, should. He, damn, damn right he should. He should. Or he's going to get like picked up during a game, and that will explain a, a stretch of games he missed, like an injury. So last year with the Lakers, remember that groin injury that happened right after the Warriors game that they won? 
maybe Christmas that, Day, yeah. Yeah, Christmas Day until he came back is the timeline where LeBron went missing and he was helping out the Looney Tunes. So the whole time the whole time during the movie, he's just they're just gonna have to stop, take a break because LeBron's growing hurts. Yeah. No, no, no. That was just an excuse to get away from the NBA. That this, explains his absence from Will the Murray's NBA. Will Murray's going to have to uh, have minute restrictions on LeBron because he's playing with a hurt growing <laughs> in space. Like, No, but now you're asking how the timeline matches up, right? Because yeah. Jordan not being in the NBA was because he was retired. Well, Lakers, LeBron was away, away, quote unquote, because he was hurt. Why don't they just next next season when when whenever the movie comes out? Why don't he? Why he should just leave in the middle of a game, like, Ooh. just not come back. That's a good. Why not? Just do it. That would be the most like. I mean, LeBron Lakers, James missing, and and he yeah. doesn't tell anybody. Yeah, Man, LeBron. LeBron's be... not coming out for the third quarter. Where's LeBron? And no, the sideline reporters can't find him. Uh, Cassidy Hubbard can't find him. JVG is speechless. He has no idea what's happening. Mark Jackson is trying to get the job. He's trying to get Frank Vogel's <laughs> job. So he has no idea. He doesn't notice it. If and... I was a head coach, a player wouldn't go missing <laughs> on my watch. I'm just letting the ownership know. Uh, my my superstar would not go missing at halftime on my watch. <laughs> That's a good. That was a pretty good. Uh, uh, what do you call it? What Mark now, Jackson? Mark, Mark Jackson. That was a pretty good one. Sammy has a good idea here. What if LeBron, they just go full interstellar, and LeBron James is talking to Michael Jordan through a wormhole in the doghouse? <laughs> Yo, you can't laugh. You haven't seen Interstellar. Hold your laugh, sir. I'm laughing. You, if I laugh, if I want to. No, I'm you don't know the joke. Do. You can't laugh at that. I'm laughing if I want to. No, you don't get the joke. I get the joke. No, you They're don't. talking through a wormhole. It. What's not funny about that? Because the whole thing on Interstellar is the wormhole. You just spoiled the damn movie. Yeah, no, you, I'm not going to watch it. You've had five years to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to talk about this real quickly. You had this. Mac Miller. It's been two years. R.I.P., man. R.I.P. You love... Uh, I See, I never got into Mac Miller. That's... Um, you know, I, I don't know. I just never got into him, and I've tried it. Uh, I tried him after uh, his passing, and I just never got into it. But you love him, and it's a, it's an important day. Yeah, it, it's because I I was really into him when I, like the mixtape era of rap. He was kind of part of like the tail end of that, and I was like a middle no, I wasn't a middle schooler. I was definitely like a sophomore in high school, and uh, he had that best day ever mixtape, and mm -hmm. I thought it was fun, but I kind of kind of just like grew out of interest in, in his music at that point of his career. And I kind of just like checked out on him after his first album came out and I didn't think it was good. And like out of nowhere, he just became that artist that was working with everyone, producing. He was learning how to to like do all these other things within music. And he became a really good producer, a really good rapper. He became best friends with freaking everyone and just kind of blossomed into like an incredible artist that makes made like like genre bending rap which is like which and it's it's just really crazy to to think like a person like that dying who was literally friends with everyone no one has a bad word to say about him or ever did and like it's it's just like when his last uh album before his uh before circles came out which was the one his estate put together after he passed away came out in uh August of 18th the same day as Astro World I think that's August 3rd of 2018 mm -hmm. so uh that was in a very important time in my life and uh, I was listening to that album a lot and I remember like I rem it's it's a vivid memory for me being in uh, the mountains in the Pacific Northwest on a train listening to that album and like the point of my life I was in emotionally was a pretty sad one and uh that that was a really good that was a really good reflective introspective album and it was very atypical of a breakup album so uh i don't know i gravitated a lot towards it and uh it came, like i said it came out the same day as astro world that late august i was listening to it nonstop, and then i come back from uh that trip that i've always talked about in seattle and portland yeah. and he dies like two days after and it, it was, was just like it just didn't feel real. It just didn't make sense. It was weird, really weird. 
the timing of all of that. They ruled it an accidental overdose, right? There was no right. It, I think it, I think it was uh, fentanyl that yeah. was that was in his that uh, was laced in his. Uh, I think it was coke. And uh, sometime last year, they arrested uh, the guys who gave him the drugs because yeah. it was it was laced. And uh, I think it was fentanyl uh, that that killed him. And I remember I think it was Karen Civil who found him dead. Like, and him and Karen Civil were really good friends. And they were going to shoot a video for, was it, was it, no, I, I can't remember what song it was for. And she just showed up to his house and she found him dead. Oh man, that's, that's tragic right there. Yeah. Obviously the just, death is, it's tragic, but now that friend holds on to that. That's a tough thing that, that you can't even, you're like, how do you even deal with that, man? That's tough. So yeah, I mean, oh. it, two years later and just waking up today and just seeing all these people continue to like live through his memory it was just mm -hmm. really cool because i mean he was he was a really good artist but it seems like he was a even better person to yeah. all of those people in his life how old was he when he passed away do you remember uh i don't let me look that up it wasn't that rock star number right was it 20 no it wasn't the 27 club or 27 oh he, crap uh he was 20 he would have he had just turned 26. Okay. Damn, man. That's, I mean, that's right there in that neighborhood. It's not like it's that far off either, man. That's a scary thing. Yeah, man. Man, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Um, You see Lance went viral? I did see Lance go viral. Dude, that's so stupid. <laughs> you see, so Lance Erline, one of our friends, if you listen to the show, you probably know Lance anyways. But he posted a clip of him, uh, of his sons playing basketball and him commentating on it. And he posted it. Like, I saw it when he originally posted it. Yeah. And I'm going, oh, Lance, you just put your boys out there like that. And you know, like, our local audience is going to just eat this up. And then, next thing you know, it has, like, 100,000 views. Then 200,000. And then the next day... It had gone full viral. It hit a million plus views, right? It ended up yeah. going about a million plus. It was so viral, Jose, that the next day when I posted my referee picture in there just to like mess with <laughs> Lance, because I, I was like, whatever, no one's going to see this. That picture itself has a thousand likes on it. You flex it in your PSG Jordan 5s. Yeah, people are like, oh, yo, this, Fire. Ref, yo, this ref in the 5s is stunting. <laughs> like, these comments are hilarious. But it went so viral that my picture went semi-viral just because I was messing with Lance. I didn't care. It was so dumb. You should have uh, replied to your own tweet and be like, I've got nothing to promote except my <laughs> resume and dropped a <laughs> screenshot of your resume. I am like one week away from doing that, by the way. <laughs> A retweet won't hurt you guys, but it could help me find my next job. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm like a week away, Jose. But yeah, it was pretty cool to see that. But what's our number one rule? Don't go viral. Never go viral. Lance went viral and he survived it. He didn't get fired from Has a he? job. I think Has so. He? Do you know, uh, you don't know if Deadspin's working on hippies? Ooh, I don't know, man. Deadspin is worse than... I don't want to say. Mm. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble on this show and get canceled off my own show like Tony <laughs> Bruno did, but uh, and deservedly so, by the way. But yeah, he went viral. That was pretty cool to. to I'm gonna call him up and ask him like, how you know? Did he mute the tweet immediately? How has your life changed since you've gone yeah. viral, Lance? What has life been like since you went viral? How, how are things different since uh, Donovan Mitchell and Lamar Jackson quote cheated your tweet, Lance? But kind of cheap on their end, Donovan Mitchell, because uh, one of the kids was wearing the Dons, right? Oh, was he? Was, was Snacks I, I wearing think them? So that's why it wasn't. Isn't that why Don said it must be the shoes? There's something oh, different about the shoes. Oh, that makes sense. That yeah, sense. that's why I thought he said it. And it looks like they're the 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 volume one Donovan Mitchells. Hey, Donovan Mitchell, stop being cheap. How about you send a couple of pairs to the kid, huh? You don't know if he did or didn't. Uh, he, no. Normally, when a celebrity sends you stuff, they let the whole world know. That I've sent you stuff. You know, I mean, I'm just saying you don't know that he did or he didn't. Okay, if he okay, if he has sent some stuff, I will apologize, Jose. You will I retract will, your statement. I will publicly apologize <laughs> to Donovan Mitchell on the Real Show podcast, but I can okay. almost guarantee it he did not because 
Usually when celebrities send you stuff that's free anyways, they let the whole world know. Hey, buddy, I'm sending you a, a package, man. Thank you. So, I mean, there I'm you just go. Saying. Lance is also an Adidas man. So, yeah, I think uh, he's going to... I think they'll take care of him. So, uh, so it would make sense for Donovan Mitchell to send him stuff. It's 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 the, it's the within the brand. Yeah. Like, why wouldn't you? I don't know. I, I All I'm going to say is my kids wouldn't be caught in Adidas, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we only wear Jordans, although... We have the frozen Adidas collaboration shoes. Okay. Wait, so, what? Yeah, Adidas I didn't did know a frozen. that was a thing. Yeah, they did frozen, uh, frozen by Adidas. And my yeah, she come on, baby Trickster has the Elsa ones. She doesn't have the Olaf threes. No, no, we couldn't get them. No. They were too, they were too hard to get. <laughs> you want to see the Elsa ones? I'll show you. Hold on. Yeah, Let me show see. me the I, frozen. I didn't know that was Adidas. a thing kids let me see does she have pairs in different sizes so when her foot grows no we can only get a hold of oh my god i think these are on stock x no they're not okay i was gonna say (laughs) that's so stupid if they're on stock x here i'll show you uh and for those of you that want to see this you can find it on youtube if you're listening on the audio side let me put my chrome tab up for you see now i can actually uh share i can share stuff with you because my computer's not that slow hold on bad tab let me try again, Jose. Where did you go? Stop. I'm still here, buddy. I know. I'm trying to. I'm just trying to get this tab up for you. Where is this? There it is. Okay. Here you go. Oh. Oh Lord. Let me see. I think we just broke. Oh, did it freeze? Here we go. There's a. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, I, there she is. I was like, I was looking for her, if see if her face was on the shoes. <clears throat> Those are subtle. Yeah, she's on the back there. I expected them yeah, to be like go. super overkill. Uh, no, no, they're just the Elsa ones. They're they're like okay. her. Just uh they're powerful yet boring. Beautiful. Oh. And boring, yeah. So, there you go. Adidas. There there's your Adidas by uh Frozen by Adidas collection that you didn't know that existed, but we have it. Okay, you want to do click or no click before we get out of here? Let's click it. All right, I got the stories here. I'm going to go fast today. And you tell me if this story and this headline and the clickbait deserves a click. Here you go. Number one, a Colorado school suspended a 12-year-old black boy and called the police to his home after he waved a toy gun during a virtual class. Uh, Click or no click? No click. I just, no no click. Uh, What is wrong with people? This is embarrassing. Come on, Colorado. Clean it up. Everyone clean it up. Okay, number two. A gender reveal sparked a wildfire in California that's now grown to over 7,000 acres. Click or no click? Uh, I'm curious how they found out it was the gender reveal. So that's that's why I want to hit click. I don't know how you feel, though. Do you want to click it? No. uh, I, I clicked it already because you wanted it. But I think the way they find that out is because they've got arson investigation, right? And they go to like, whoever called it in. Like, hey, there's a fire here. Usually that's what happens. Or they try to find the point of origin for that fire, right? Like depending on how far the fire is spread out and all that. So they can do that. But a smoke generating pyrotechnic device used at a party in the El Dorado fire uh, was the reason at the party okay used at the party sparked the El Dorado fire in the San Bernardino County uh area that wasn't worth the click no, i didn't i also all. didn't know you were an arson detective look at you yeah bro come on love good i love a good arson investigation interesting my parents for the longest uh time thought i was i was a pyromaniac and were you they thought yeah oh dude i used to burn everything everything like i would just sit there and burn stuff <laughs> I still love I love playing with fire I love playing with fire That's no. a little weird Yeah I know Like they thought I had some issues Like I would sit there And take spaghetti And dip it in oil And just light it on fire To see how that's, big of a flame I can make That's not, That just doesn't seem productive Yeah it does You see how powerful fire is I just I, I just feel like you don't you, We see like how powerful fire Can be every day Like I just don't see How that, that was a necessary action For Young Real no, but how do we know how powerful it is with spaghetti dipped in oil? <laughs> you don't. Okay, number so, two. 
Some things oh, man's just not supposed to know about. <laughs> Number three, a tourist who took sand from a beach in Italy has been fined more than a thousand bucks. What? Yeah. Do you it, want that click? Yeah, hit me with the click. Okay. Why I got is, you why with is the click. that? Why is that sand worth a thousand dollars? Okay, the Italian islands. White sand is protected, and tourists face fines and even jail time for removing it from local beaches. It's become such a problem. Like they have, you, you there's pictures on this story where you can see um, how many bottles full people carry out because the sand is so beautiful. And the, I guess people just take it home as a keepsake. What's wrong with that? Does it how how, how does sand uh, reproduce? Isn't the right word. But how does sand come to exist on a beach? Um, I think it's usually blown in from the the ocean. So, so theoretically, it'll never stop. Theoretically, yes. But there could be if everyone took home sand, it would run short. I don't think it would replenish at a fast enough rate to out you know to offset how much how many people take it home. Thus, you have to find people. Mm. Right now, you can buy the sand on various uh, websites. Is it like like a black market website mm-hmm. that you got? You just gotta know people that know people, know people that know people. It's a dark web. That's what the dark web is used for. Imagine, imagine going on the dark web to buy some damn sand, dude. That's next level. Last year, police seized eighty eight pounds of sand from the uh, from a French French couple in a British eighty eight resident- pounds. Yeah. Why do you need 88 pounds of sand? Yo, and why a, is there a whole investigation for that? Holy there's crap. There's a whole team. There's a whole beach te- uh, beach arsonist team. <laughs> <laughs> there's, so okay. there's a whole there's a whole uh, special uh, special sand unit. Yeah, it's a CSI special sand unit. <laughs> do, you, do you think like that's like that's like this is in Italy, right? Italian guys coming out of the police academy, like that's the ultimate goal, like that's the ultimate yeah, like my blow dad, off job is to my work dad in the sand a, unit. No, he's like my dad was a sand unit specialist. I'm gonna be a sand, and so are you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I should have used a more Italian name. Yeah, but I didn't you should go, have. I didn't want to go Tony Bruno on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number four, Pakistan police. What's oh. up? This is going to my country. Oh. Charged toddler for holding an illegal gathering. Mm. Oh, I want the click. I want. Is this click. a Rona gathering? I don't know. Was a, was this toddler having a Corona party? I don't know. I need to figure seems, this out. Seems like he's a little bit too young to be buying into the Corona's a hoax thing. Pakistan's police on Sunday charged a toddler and five others for holding an illegal gathering and promoting sectoranian sectoranianism. What is that? I don't know. What is that? Uh, I guess something. According to the charge sheet, four-year-old Fazal Abbas and two others hosted an illegal gathering on the night of August 30th. The village is located in a small district. Blah blah blah. They've been tra- no. There's nothing there. I mean, I guess they're just not allowed to gather. What is? What did he? What were they doing? Nothing. They just held a gathering together. And he was there, so I guess he got charged as well. So are, are toddlers not allowed to like gather? Is I guess this a they're not allowed thing? to host. Yeah, no, I guess they're not allowed to host any gatherings. Yeah, it must be that. There's no reason why it's illegal. That's interesting. Yeah, that's weird. It, I just, I'm just. There has to be a reason they gathered. Did they just gather to play with their toys or like? I, hey man, I, I'm just reading you the news, buddy. These I'm questions just, you're gonna have to ask other people. <laughs> Okay, they've been charged under Punjab's South Systems Regulation Act of 2015, which regulates the use of sound systems. So there was a sound system involved, Jose. They can't have sound systems? I don't know. Obviously not. Yo, I'm, I'm so, done. So this were, is wild. Was it parents gathering and they just so happened to have their kid there and the kid... There was, the, no, age, uh, there was no age revealed for other members. Yeah, I'm with Total Dallas. This was a bad click. Not because it was a bad story, but because they uh dep- they didn't provide enough information. Yeah, that was a bad just bad writing. Yeah. Maybe okay, we should final. have on the writer and ask them all the questions. Him? Let me see. <laughs> ask them all the questions. 
I could tweet him and be like, hey, can you update this the story, is, uh, please? This is from the Robwa Times. Did you know in the Robwa Times, you can't even, you, you don't even know who wrote it. There's no author. Uh. It's for the people, by the people. Hmm. Yeah, there's no author there. I don't see it. Lot, lot. So, follow. interesting. Yeah, that's strange. Okay, last one. This is the headline, okay? I'm not making this up. It literally says this. Is your baby racist? Hmm. That is your headline. That would be a good click, but I'm not a father, so I don't have a baby to be concerned of whether or not he's racist. Mm. But you have a child. I don't want I don't want to know if my baby's a racist, honestly. I'm good. <laughs> and she's not a baby anymore. She's a She's, she's always a going to be a baby to you. No, not anymore. She lost her she lost her first tooth, so she's not a baby anymore. So I was like, I'm gonna have to start charging you taxes. You need to start paying. <laughs> you just you just start I paying know, rent. I know you got money in that piggy bank, kid. <laughs> we're, in some, we're in some tough times right now. <laughs> have you have you taught her uh have you taught her how to do the dishes? No, no, no. She's not learning. She's not learning. She doesn't want any part of that. And mm. she and gets she that knows. from you. Yeah. And I know she has money. I know President Trump sent her six hundred bucks. <laughs> What is she's what do you think she's uh going to spend those six hundred bucks on? On those stupid Disney princess toys. Whoa. I mean not like Disney's no, I don't like I love Disney, but those princess toys, there's like these little uh boxes that they buy. Yeah. And you don't know what toys in it, right? It's a secret toy. It's a mystery so box. That's how they get your box. ass. And she just wants Jasmine. And I said, Well, you just spent like thirty bucks on this. You should have just bought a Jasmine doll for twenty bucks. You know you could probably get her that Jasmine figurine on eBay or something, right? Or on nah. Amazon. No, I want her to understand the joys of failure because I don't think there's a Jasmine anywhere. <laughs> at least not at my local Target. It's not there. Jose, I got to go, buddy. Um, oh, you got to go pee? Hour. No, I got to go. Oh. I got to go, go, go. Right. Um, thank you for doing this a little bit earlier. Of course, I appreciate man. everyone joining us a little bit early, watching on Labor Day. Uh, make sure you spread the show. Subscribe to the show if you're listening for the first time and uh, review it give us a review man we appreciate the reviews and thank you again follow jose on twitter at parj94 jose anything to promote for you this week no nothing at all all right then i will talk to you next monday night back at our normal time 8 p.m thank you everyone for listening and watching i appreciate the comments next monday night 8 p.m back to our normal time we'll talk then see you later jose stay spicy